Welcome to Reflecting Light. This podcast is about feeling the world with light by exploring myth, ancient texts, scripture, great works of world literature, and the works of artists, past and present, for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. And now, here is your host, Mandy Green. Hello, welcome to the newest season of Reflecting Light. It is wonderful to be back with you. Thank you for reaching out, for the emails, for the texts. I am up to my eyeballs in schoolwork. I started my master's degree at Duke Divinity School, but I'm learning so many amazing things. And of course, what is the beauty of learning amazing things if you're not able to share them? So I will try to keep up the weekly schedule of reflecting light for the next several months. If I do happen to miss a week here or there, your patience is appreciated in advance. It gets a little intense over here. For the premiere episode of this season, I wanted to read a few verses from the Gospel of Matthew. And this is a beautiful question for us to think about as we enter, well, a new season of reflecting light, a new way of going deeper than we have before. If you haven't listened to the previous podcasts, I would invite you to do that because all of these tend to lean on each other. Of course, they can stand alone, but if you're able to listen to most of them, there is a progression. And I'm deeply grateful for those of you who have been with me from the beginning, for those who have jumped in the middle, and those who have just started to. This is a completely private endeavor, and I usually you lose money on it every year, and that's okay. That's not what it's about. But if you would like to be a supporter of Reflecting Light, of course, I would appreciate your financial support this new season. If you'd like to make a donation, just visit www.mandybgreen.com. And if you'd like to take any of my classes or look at my tour schedule or anything like that, get the show notes from the podcast. I have gotten a lot of questions about that. You would go to the same website, click on podcast And then you can either look at episodes or look at show notes. And that's how you would find the show notes. On every episode, I will have show notes with artwork, usually books that I reference or great quotes. So if you're looking for anything like that, look there in the show notes. Coming up, I will be doing the pilgrimage to France. The Mary Magdalene pilgrimage is scheduled for April of 2024. This is the last one I will be doing. So if you want to jump in on this, this is a very limited group. I don't go beyond 18 people because I like it to stay small and intimate and we are pilgrims together. So if you'd like to do that, I would invite you to take that opportunity. We're also looking at an England tour in September of next year. So be looking at the Forbidden Adventure, that is our website for touring, if that is of interest to you. And if you have any other questions about anything, just feel free to reach out at mandybrookgreen at gmail.com, Brooke has an E on it. And lastly, sometime before the end of the year, I've got to get it scheduled, but we had such a great time with the Hymn of the Pearl reading and the sound bath that we're going to repeat an event like that in November. I'm going to be talking specifically about the goddess wisdom in the Old Testament. And then Chanel Palmer has graciously agreed to lead us in a yoga practice. And that will be at Purify Wellness Center. I'm assuming the ticket price will be the same, $20 for about a two and a half hour event together. It's a great way to meet, to connect, to find like souls. I love meeting you in person. COVID has been brutal on that. And I'm so grateful to those who came. It was lovely to meet you. And it was lovely to be in that space together. 
All right, enough of that. Let's jump into our text. We're going to be looking at Matthew chapter 16, beginning with verse 13. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? Now, Caesarea Philippi is in the north of Israel. It's actually very close to the, what is today the Syrian border. And it was anciently a place of a spring. If you go there today, it's got this flowing water, which is really always a sign of some type of temple. Now, during the Lord's time, it had been changed and dedicated to the god Pan, but you can still go to the base of Caesarea Philippi, and there's a spring there that flows right out of Mount Hermon, and the spring is one of the sources of the Jordan River. So we have this place of living water. It's at the base of Mount Hermon, which some say is a possible site of the Mount of Transfiguration. Mount Hermon is one of the few places in Israel that gets snowfall, so it's very high up. And you're here in this place that's been converted to a temple, to the god Pan. But here's the Lord, and I love this question. Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, some say you're John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. So there's a lot of mixed review here about who Jesus is. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? And that really is the question. Now, I know we're very quick to rush to Peter's answer, and that's very Peter-like behavior for us, isn't it? You are the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Son of the Living God. But if we are to liken the Scriptures to ourselves, verse 15 needs to be our mantra for what I'm going to call this season of reflecting light. Who do you say that I am? As we begin this journey together, I would love for you to spend the next week truly asking yourself this question. Who is Jesus Christ to me? And I don't mean it in a impersonal title way. I don't mean it in a way to list things out, although that would be part, it would be appropriate about the characteristics of Christ that you see that connect with your experience. But truly, this season, I want us to go beyond these easy, quick definitions. I want us to go beyond these trite sayings or platitudes. I want us to go deeper into the question. The Savior actually asks so many more questions than he answers. And this is one I want you to sit with. I want you to sit in this space and have the Lord ask you, but whom do you say that I am? And I would invite you to spend some time with that question. Who is the Savior to you? And think about it. Think about what it is that he actually is to you. Now, the beauty of this verse, if you really look at it, whom do ye say I am? I am is one of the titles given to Moses. And so when the Lord says, whom say ye that I am? Feel free to break outside of the New Testament box. Feel free to break outside of the Old Testament box. Feel free to ascribe your own personal relationship with the Lord. And think about all the ways that shows up. Think about all the ways that has played out in your life. 
And if you're a little daring, you could perhaps say, I'd love to know you as this. I've read about this aspect of you, but perhaps this is a side of you that I would love to know. The Lord is so much more than we can comprehend. There are more cuts and facets to this diamond than we can possibly begin to comprehend mortally. But there is a part of you that knows the Lord far better than you've ever considered. This is someone who is more familiar to you than yourself, whose face brings you delight and comfort and support, friendship, a strong shoulder, laughter, whatever it is. This is the question I would like to pose to you. Whom do ye say that I am? So with that question, we will conclude the first episode of the newest season of Reflecting Light and invite you to sit with that and all week, perhaps have a place you write it down or on your phone or a little list, think of who he is to you. And we will look at different ways of how we can deepen and strengthen our relationship with him. That is the podcast. Thank you so, so much for your support and for joining me each week. It truly means the world to me. Wishing you all so much love and light. Thank you for joining us for Reflecting Light with Mandy Green. If you enjoy this podcast, please leave a good rating and share it with your friends. And remember, your light makes the world a brighter place. Share it.